Hey guys, today I'm going to take you on a tour of the city Bordeaux in France. So I landed in Bordeaux, the flight was very short from London, Stansted and at the airport if you want to get to your accommodation you could take a local transport which we're taking or you can take a taxi wherever your preference is. <laughs> Around the city is actually amazing. I'm in love with the honeycomb style buildings. From what I understand, it's called limestone, and there is also history about it, which I will tell you later on. So, from what I understand, the population in Bordeaux is 254,000, and the city is known for its wine production, and I think that's where the name Bordeaux comes from. As is it's the name behind the color burgundy for burgundy red and red for wine around the town city they have a, like, a lot of dessert places and from what i understand they sell these dessert treats called canelli So as you can see the building is black and the reason is because the limestone over time starts to suck in all of the bad moisture and because of that it uh, becomes black and the reason the honeycomb buildings are yellow today is because I think they use powered water to wash off. Yeah. So I'm on my way to the country, to a place called Set Million, and I'm going to be going to a walking tour for where they make the wine and how it's made and things of that nature. I really love the scenery around the country, as you can see the different cottage buildings and even in the distance they look very nice and it gives a good feel to the country especially with the nature around it as well. So I've reached the wine monastery and outside as you can see the building has been through some damage as it was burnt by a fire. So came to understand that monks used to live in the monastery in the 14th century so there is also some history there as well so i've entered into the crypt where the wine is being stored and the wine has been dated back from 100 years ago and they've taken care of it
outside the crypt there is a souvenir shop where you can get little souvenirs for friends, families and acquaintances. So the very next day after taking the train back to my accommodation I went to the seaside. Uh, this is the last time I spent in Bordeaux. Just what we eat for breakfast. Just um, toast with unsalted butter and ham slices. You know, uh, and this is just a bowl of cereal. Yeah, bottled water because I needed plenty of water since I was walking around a lot today in um, you know uh, France border, and I expected it to be uh, very cold, so it was quite uh, quite sunny actually. Yeah, so this is the part where I found out that my flight was delayed for four hours. Oh, very stressful. But I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and see you later on.